and we're back. So, it begins by recognizing that God provides for us an open door policy. That is, anyone can come to the Lord uh, simply by asking and seeking Him. As we mentioned in the first video, uh, the first First, it is a relationship that, uh, with God It begins by receiving Christ. Secondly, relationship with God reveals the testimony of Christ in us. As the Apostle John opens his text, he makes it clear that the reason that the epistle was written so that Christ could be seen in the lives of those who had accepted Christ as their personal Savior. This is one of the things we daily have to work at, being consistent in our walk of faith, our walk of love, our walk of caring for others, being cordial and kind to one another. It does not always come easy to us, but as we allow the Spirit of God to lead us and direct us, He will be able to reflect His love, His forgiveness, and His kindness through us. But there's a third thing that we understand here regarding uh, um, the open door policy that God gives us, and that is this. Uh, thirdly, relationship with God connects us with eternity. I thought it was kind of interesting as you look at the text, John made it a point to talk about this matter of eternity. Notice what it says in verse 2. He says this, um, The life appeared, we have seen it, and testify to it, and we proclaim to you the eternal life. Of course, he's talking about the, the life of Christ. And he's talking about what Christ offered. It goes back to the gospel in a nutshell. Uh, John 3.16 For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Have eternal life. We need to be reminded that relationship with God through Christ links us with eternity. We are linked to eternity because of our relationship with Christ. When you accepted Jesus Christ as your Savior, God granted you and gave you the promise of eternal life. Your connection with Christ links you forever with your eternal reward. They are inseparable. To know Christ is to have a guarantee of eternal life. And the principle is clear. Our relationship with God provides an open door to God by accepting Christ and allowing Him to live in us and through us. But there's a second thing that we find of what it means to be in a relationship with God and what, what God offers us. Number two it provides an avenue of fellowship with God. It provides an avenue of fellowship with God. We need daily and weekly reminders that our relationship with God through Christ automatically gives us access to God the Father. That's what John said. We can come boldly before God's throne of grace anytime, as the writer of the book of Hebrew tells us. And we find in the text, John uses the word fellowship several times. In fact, notice again what the text says here. As we look at, at um, verse 3, We proclaim to you, we have seen and heard, so that you may also have fellowship with us, and our fellowship is with the Father. He also uses the word fellowship in verse 6, if we claim to have fellowship with him. Um, so, John apparently thought it was important for us to understand what fellowship is. So, uh, the word fellowship here is from the Greek, it is the word koinonia, which simply means jointly connected in communion in total shared acceptance and love. Did you catch that? Koinonia, fellowship. Jointly connected in communion in total shared acceptance and love. God accepts you and I completely because of Christ. That is why we can come to Him at any time and He is available for us to call on. 
Isn't that a great thing? In a day and age in which we live with the coronavirus continuing to plague us, this is a day for us to call upon the name of the Lord and ask Him for wisdom, and ask Him to protect us, and ask Him to lead us. There, there are three things that, that we consider here as we, as we understand what fellowship is. First, relationship with God means we communicate with Him. We communicate with Him. John makes it very clear. He says that the letter I've written to you is from God the Father to you. As we communicate in our relationship um, to make it work and thrive, it is important that we do that uh, to have relationship with God. We need to communicate with Him daily in order to maintain the qualities of godliness that He is instilling in us. What are those qualities? Those qualities in include love, kindness, encouragement, tenderness, forgiveness, understanding, peace, joy, confidence. I don't know about you, but I need help with that. There's not a week that goes by in which I don't need some kind of encouragement and help. And God has given me a great helpmate who at times helps me and reminds me of what I need to do. Because at times I forget, even as a husband, you know, I don't intend to forget things or overlook things. And that's why I have the Spirit of God and I have a wife who's, who says, by the way, you said this, you promised this and didn't do it. Oh, okay. And that keeps me kind of on track. There's a second thing that we find. Not only is relationship with God means that we, that we communicate with Him, but secondly, relationship with God means we communicate with believers. One of the primary reasons our Lord established His church was so that we would have fellowship together as members of His church to build each other up and to, and to support and love one another. Christian fellowship is what our Lord wants us to maintain and continue to give glory to God and strengthen the church. We need each other. We are in we are all in this together. You've heard the expression, united we stand, divided we fall. There's a third thing that we understand, and that is this. Relationship with God means we communicate the truth about light and darkness. I thought it interesting. John makes some interesting comments here, and why would he use such words, light and darkness? I mean, they're pretty basic words. The Apostle John makes some very clear, makes a very clear statement about what he, uh, what is really going on in our world. It is a battle between good and evil, between light and darkness, between God and His church, and the devil, and the world with all its immorality, unbelief, and sin. When we walk by faith, trusting God in, our, in fellowship with one another, we are unstoppable. But if we allow the world and its sinful fallen agenda to influence us, it will hinder us and may cause us to stumble. Here's the principle. Our relationship with God provides an avenue of fellowship with God and fellow believers in order to make our joy complete, just as John said. Well, this completes uh, the second of three videos. I'll see you in the next video.